How are you, my good friends of YouTube? Yep, this video, the big badass of a homemade flyback, and uh, I'm going to be running it off the half bridge IGBT. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. You never know, it might be crap, might be good, we don't know. I have actually been messing about with the primary windings on the ZVS driver, adding few, adding windings, taking windings off, and seeing out the best. Um, way that it runs, it runs better with around about four to six windings, believe it or not. Um, not quite sure of the uh, frequency out on the ZVS, I, I probably should really could be doing it best really to put it onto the uh, scope and uh, frequency um, meter which I've got here. See what frequency I'm getting out from it. Um, but yes, uh, you know, and try different caps on the ZVS to see what, you know, change the frequency up and down and whatnot. Um, the next thing I'll be doing now though is uh, trying it on the IGBT and see what we can get from it. And, uh, you know, and the, if it doesn't work so well, then I'll have to try and add more windings to it or reduce them even more. I mean, some transformers work really well with just two windings on one. You know, it depends on the frequency. So let's uh, see how this runs, and I won't uh, take up your time anymore by gasping, and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, there it is behind, if you can see that. Road half bridge, all nicely together. Bring it off that big variac. There's the spark gap just there. This is where you're going to be seeing it uh, arcing from. It's going to be very bright, guys, so to let you know and there's the beast this is your primary and this is your secondary out down here I've put a bit of insulation on the primary because that goes underneath of the windings and the last thing I want is it to try and flash over there is actually a substantial amount of um, insulation with the two wires as you can see it's quite a bit so each one of these wires should take quite a bit of punishment before it flashes over and if it does who cares I'll just get another one <coughs> right let's turn the yode light down and let's see what happens eh let's see if I can focus in uh, zoom in a little bit for you there we go <coughs> leave a little bit of light because then it it won't make the iris of the camera try to, you know, close and whatnot. Don't come in! Don't come in! looking pretty good wasn't it guys
definitely see that these are getting very hot. Very hot indeed. Just turn the frequency down a bit, so let's see how it goes now. Jesus crikey! <laughs> I think that was getting a little bit hot. That uh, gap there is probably just over an inch. So it jumps out pretty damn easily. Um, I would probably say that that's, that's getting on probably easily touching 20 kV guys. It's got to be. 20 kV at well, let's see what the current is. Let's measure and see what the current is off this thing. Don't come. Hmm, bloody hell, guys. Just have to go and sort some out. A bit of a dilemma. Well, yes, uh, that is definitely working really, really, really well. Uh, that's quite a good gap. Um, just trying to think what I could do to, with it being a half bridge you see, I'm not getting the full power of what I want to is, but when I do eventually get the, the, uh, the full bridge done guys, it'll, it'll be working a lot better and I will be getting some serious output from it. <clears throat> but uh, after that little run, the uh, primary windings on the ferrite is uh, just warm, it's not even hot. The IGBT gets a little warm, um, but uh, Let's see what the uh, we can see what the, the current is on the on the output, shall we? Where are we? Bloody lost now. Right, have a look. Let's see what the current is. Where's my bloody screwdriver? Holy cow! 800 milliamps. It was actually peaking between 800 and 840. So, I mean, uh, that's what it was uh, just arcing over there on the output. That's that's some that's more powerful than a mot. <laughs> and at the KV, I'm getting out of it. Zero it again and see if uh, we get the same reading. Right.
was getting just over an amp then. <laughs> Got bits of um, got bits of got bits of uh, melted steel that's dropped down from it, which is pretty awesome. I can't look at it. Actually, when I shut my eyes, I can see the arc. I need a welder's mask, which somebody did actually comment. I do need a welder's mask. <clears throat> this windings are still just only warm. RGBT um, heat sinks not heat sinks not too bad. It's just above room temperature, so that's not uh, that's not too bad at all. But those two uh, server fans do keep it quite cool. But uh, eventually, I would like to get it liquid cool because that would be awesome. Because then I'll be able to push the, the RGBTs that little bit more. I definitely need it for when I oh shit. Definitely need it for when I. Uh, Get a full bridge on the go. But yeah, that's what's set up. Oh, sorry, we take my phone off here. So yeah, so these are, uh, I think somebody asked me, there was a comment on one of my, on the latest video guys, that uh, one of you was asking about my ferrites and where I get them from. Well these ferrites are actually from the, uh, the scrapyard. There was some wire wrapped around them, I don't know whether or not they're used for some sort of frequency or antenna or anything I'm not sure but there's they're all in the same there's all like in a round plastic sheath with um, some like insulation rubber insulation to make it round and you'd actually peel the insulation off and then on top of the insulation was like some plastic with rows of wire some really thick uh, some really thin like hair thickness and some you know, thicker and whatnot. So I don't know what these things were, but uh, yeah, they do work really, really well, and they're very large. <clears throat> so let's look at the tips. Let me just get it to focus on this first, otherwise it's not going to do it. Come on, you stupid phone. There we go. So look at the tips, guys. They were, oops, they were flat and rounded, just like the tip of it there. That's how it used to look. And now it looks like a bloody welder's rod. Unbelievable. <laughs> so then, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, thank you for all your brilliant kind comments. Honestly, the, the comments I've had on my uh, videos lately and you know your concerns of um, my daughter Bella and my wife, it's it's fantastic guys. I honestly cannot thank you enough. It's it's real nice and it's nice to know that I've got you guys out there, you know, following me and uh, giving me a video thumbs up, leaving me kind comments. It's, it's great and I do try you know, me and myself to uh, give whatever I can, you know, in, uh, in some good videos. Um, sometime, I don't know whether it's going to be sometime before Christmas or after Christmas, I will be doing some sort of giveaway, prize giveaway, and, uh, you know, just to give something back. I wish I could afford it to give everybody something. Um, I'll probably do two, two or three prizes, um, and, uh, you know, first, first there, first first gets the prize, you know, the first three should I say, first two or three, depending, but uh, yeah, I, I feel like I need to do something like that, and that's what I will be doing after Christmas, maybe before Christmas or after Christmas when I've got a little bit more money, just 
turn that off now. Turn that off now, because, uh, bloody hell, they're quiet. Uh, but yes, uh, you know, at some point it would be nice to uh, give you guys something. But, uh, yeah, if I could afford it, I would give everybody something. I really would. But, uh, anyway, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. And nearly got rid of the cold. It's nearly gone. Oh, God, I hate doing that. My wife keeps saying to me, Oh, you dirty bastard. I'm not charming. You call me a bastard for. <laughs> I think I've got a dad. <laughs> I haven't seen him for years. <clears throat> but anyway, thanks guys. Look after yourselves and be, be careful uh, and uh, sensible in any projects, whatever you're doing. If, it's, uh, if it entails sharp objects or high voltage or whatever, uh, you know, always be careful guys. And uh, see you again. Thanks guys. <laughs>